Alright, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. This is Jazzman back with another game. This one going to be between Carmivore, playing a split between Kathir Forest and Savage, or sorry, Sundered Lands. I don't know, I was going to say Savage Tundra there. We got, uh, and we got Archivist on uh, the other side, playing uh, Full Faction Iron Fist Stronghold. And uh, this is actually take two of trying to record this game. The first time I actually got disconnected on Carmivore's first turn, and I was watching, I was watching Archivist's timer run down. Like, why isn't he deploying anything? And uh, then I realized I had DC'd. But uh, so we just missed a, a few minutes here uh, at the start. Uh, we've got Archivist contesting Carmivore's fun, I, and I. It's funny because I was talking about Karma's first deploy being the Spirit Manifestation. Uh, sorry, the uh, no, yeah, the Spirit of the Mountain. And I was like, man, Carmivore can run that nine-speed summon right into Archivist's font and drop a relic. But uh, uh, it seems like Archivist will actually be doing the uh, the font rushing here. And uh, now that Archivist does have the font, the uh, the Spirit of the Mountain cannot drop anything because of the uh, the good old Iron Fist Stronghold font bonus. Uh, but uh, he is going to chase down uh, that favored Nomad with uh, the summon. And now the summon ha uh, the summon has moved out of Spirit Projection range, so it will die should Spirit of the Mountain not end its turn within range. And it seems like Carnivore is just going to let that summon die. Uh, getting uh, trading uh, its life for the uh, the damage on favored nomad, and redirecting his other champions towards this impending uh, contest by Zadin of Sarnhaber. Uh, one of probably one of my uh, my favorite looking art wise uh, runes from Iron Fist Stronghold. I know it's not like like flashy or anything, or uh, but he, I mean he just looks so cool. I, I love the look of his armor. I, like I love the look of his weapon. He's just he just has this like regal strong looking look about him that uh, I, I like the I like the art. But uh, we've got Spirit of the Mountain, uh, of course, uh, going to summon another manifestation on the start of Karma's next turn. Uh, now, Interrogator. Uh, Interrogator, a uh, very uh, useful champion to have engaged to your uh, your opposing champions. Assault Punish is a, a, an incredibly powerful combination, especially when you have something like Granite Bracers on there. And now that, that's, just, that's just cruel. So uh, if, if you try to fight back, you're going to get counterattacked. If you try to run away, you can't. So uh, if uh, man, if Interrogator can get in on uh, some l some ranged champion or something, it's uh, going to be a very bad time for Carmivore. It seems like for now the uh, the Interrogator is going to uh, bite its teeth out on that Guardian's treasure for a while. And Favorite Nomad not quite dead, but uh, not uh, really able to impact the fight either. It's just gonna sit back and let Escalation do its thing for a while. Maybe it'll get healed up later. IS does have a lot of healing in its uh, in its arsenal potentially. Uh, but Zedin, uh, feeling right at, ho right at home in that uh, in that font battle with Conqueror, going to be contesting versus uh, the uh, the very threatening looking Mauler, and uh, I guess uh, Guardian of Eretat uh, following it up. Uh, now it's nice that uh, Guardian has one to two range, so we'll be able to hit over the Mauler and through Intimidating. But uh, we also see another equip, full plate armor, going down onto onto Zedin here. And uh, man, that's uh, that's a beefy uh, beefy looking Zedin. And of course, uh, now that the banner is dead. Uh, without and that favored nomad will pop due to the global uh, HP loss without getting healed. What a shame! Uh, we've got uh, Mauler leaping away, realizing he is outmatched by by Zedin here at the moment. And there's the second Mauler. Now these Maulers they they basically have ten speed on them with the uh, the improve, the sibling buff, and leap three. So I'm feeling like Carmivore is uh, based on the deploy alone. He's going to try and run that Mauler straight into Archivist's font. And uh, it looks like a uh, Spirit of the Mountain is going to. Uh, okay, I thought he might try and block. Uh, I figured he might try and block like the Interrogator from uh, you know engaging the uh, the Mauler, but uh, it doesn't look like he's going to do that. Uh, we've got Carmivore's own War Banner coming down, the Sundered Lands. So he went with the Sundered Lands War Banner. That's probably where a lot of his uh, uh, most of his champions are are from then in this deck. Uh, as far as War Banners and splits go. Um, uh, it depends. It really depends on the deck. Like like a lot of uh, other things in this game, it just depends. Like if you're running a, an abundance of certain champions from uh, one particular side of your split, then uh, you can go ahead and throw in the war banner too. Because I mean, war banners are great relics. Why not? But uh, in in some splits, uh, you just don't run enough of a specific uh, faction's champions to justify their inclusion over a potential uh, other rune slot. Yeah, so either way. Uh, it depends. Like Carmivore uh, obviously recognizes that most of his uh, key champions are Sundered Lands, so that's why he's running the banner. And Interrogator actually backing all the way away from uh, these champions here. That was uh, a little bit 
odd. I don't know why. Like, he can't be afraid of the mauler, right? I mean, Interrogator just, like, I mean, she owns 1v1s now. Like, she has Elusive Leap and Rypost. Like, what, what is there to be afraid of, you know? You, you've got Zedin in the font. But, uh, I mean, he's not going to last forever, right? There is a Swift Wind from Carmivore, as well as a Hunter's Charm. So that uh, Guardian is uh, quite, quite beefy now with 18 damage. And uh, now that all of uh, Carmivore's champions uh, have Unstoppable, uh, they, he will be able to get around Intimidating on the Zedin. So everyone's going to get in here. Of course, Zedin still has 7 defense from the full plate, as well as... Uh, oh, he didn't take Stone Clan. Okay, well, you know what? I, uh, I took back everything I said about the Zedin. This Zedin is dead as doornails. Why did you not take Stone Clan on Zedin? That's like the whole point of running him. He took Rebuke and Conqueror instead. Uh, I think, yeah, Conqueror is the upgrade on that slot, right? Or maybe it's Rebuke. I don't remember the slots. But, I mean, Stone Clan is just like... It's so good. Like, it gives you protection from spells. It gives you tough three over the course of a few turns. I mean, I don't know. I don't agree with that at all. But uh, we see uh, Barbarian Elite here from Archivist. Uh, deployed as reinforcements to defend off that angry-looking mauler. And, uh, okay, well, I mean, Impervious. I guess if you're running stuff like Impervious, maybe you can justify... Nah, I, I, even still, I would probably take all... I would always take Stone Clan on uh, on a champion that can get it. Like, Tough 3 is just... Like, it, it's basically a discounted Tough 3, uh, as well as Spell Protection. But, I don't know. So we've got the Impervious. I mean, that won't actually really do anything, because, uh, <laughs> like, he's just going to die on the following turn, and Karmavor can basically leap the Mauler away and save it, so... Uh, I don't agree with that play from Archivist. Uh, I guess he can uh, he can maybe try and recontest with, like, Interrogator or something later, but, uh, you know, trying is the first step to failure. So uh, we'll see how that goes for him. Mauler, uh, gonna probably leap away. Yep, there it goes. And uh, Karma War will just leave uh, these champions here. I guess he could leave the summon to uh, to keep engaging the Zedin so that it doesn't go anywhere crazy. Like, maybe try and block from the behind. So that uh, so that he can't go uh, like you know run off this way or something to get healed up later. But uh, seven HP, I mean you know he is pretty much dead either way. And this Mauler, fourteen AP on it with nine speed. So we could leap right over these barbarians and head straight to like he could go all the way to the back of this font if he wanted. That'd be that'd be kind of kind of crazy. But I mean Carmivore could do it if he wanted. So there's a fanfare, and uh, that will buff Carmivore's champions up quite a bit more. So 66 HP on that Mauler. Man, it's almost like uh, the Mauler of old. And wow, Carmivore actually did go. <laughs> he went for the crazy all the way in the back play. I mean, he, he's out of hit range of... Uh, uh, I mean, as, as out of hit range as he can be on uh, on Archivist Champions. But uh, does contest the font. And uh, yeah, anyway, Mauler of old, right. He was like he was like 88 Nora, and he had uh, much higher base stats in addition to Sibling. This is when Sibling gave like plus 15 HP and like plus five damage and it was kind of crazy because uh my like maulers like they used to be uh, pretty popular choices in sundered lands because they were fast and they and they hit hard like they still had execute and magic damage was a lot more like, it was basically just magic damage reduction because at the time sundered lands did not have uh, very many sources of magic damage uh, as sundered lands players will would have often complained about but uh guardian of Eritrat wow there's a second impervious on that zedin Mm, okay. Very, very suspicious play. Uh, so Carmivore will, uh, will probably, I mean, he, he, he's probably thinking, man, I'll take that all day. You're, you're casting two Impervious on a seven HP champion and your font is contested. I mean, that's, that's perfectly fine with me, man. Like, that's what I would be thinking. I mean, he's not, he's not going to save the Zedin. Like, it, it's going to die. I mean, he's got the, he's got the manifestation here. He's got Guardian here. And uh, he's got Mauler in the font. Uh, and Interrogator has uh, not actually done much of anything with its AP. It's it's just sort of doing shit like this, moving back and forth. And uh, yeah, I don't know what Archivist is thinking uh, moving it like that. But uh, I mean, he's got his font contested, right? He should be trying to like move, like block with Interrogator on this side of the font so that Mauler can't just leap away over here. Like if, this, if the Interrogator was over here or something... Like, Mauler would have no real escape route or no real place to uh, to leap to. But uh, maybe maybe he's expecting a Shrine Rush and is, def like, using Interrogator to defend? I don't know. 
I, these these plays are, are a little too crazy for someone like me, and, I, and I'm crazy, but I, I I ain't this kind of crazy. Yeah, we've got Mauler, and it, it's just, man, Karma War has so much AP to work with. Look at this. Look at this ridiculous 13 speed summon. He can, he can go all the way across the map, and granted, this is a small map. Like, it's probably the smallest map in the game. But still, like nine speed on all your champions. That's uh, that's that's a lot, man. And uh, it seems like uh, he has he has completely abandoned that uh, that font entirely. And wow, wow, he actually is going in for the shrine. So it, shame on me, I guess, for bashing archivist's play with the in interrogator. Uh, okay, so maybe he just he just thrown the summon in there. Is he? Yeah, he's gonna get in range of improve and stuff. I was thinking he'd throw that Mauler in there too, and I was gonna be like, "Wow, he's actually doing it! He's going for the Shrine Rush." But now, this, so this Mauler is uh, is still contesting the font. I feel like Karma's gonna maybe make a hit and leap away, or probably just leap away, and retreat to uh, to his other Mauler uh, in the in the middle of the map here. Maybe like leap over here so that he's far from the Inquisitor, or sorry, Interrogator, who is uh, very uh, yeah, she's sort of isolated at the moment. I mean, she can try and kill the summon, I guess, but, you know, Karma Boar is just going to get another one. As far as Zedin goes, uh, his days are, yeah, pretty much numbered. I mean, he has Skirmisher, so he can't even hit the banner. And uh, Impervious didn't used to give Skirmisher, uh, but it was given uh, the Skirmisher effect just to prevent uh, Shrine rushing in, the, in Days of Yore. This was all the way back in, like, 2008, 2009 era. But uh, it used to be that you just cast him like double impervious on the on a champ that was rushing your shrine. And this was like pre-transfigure days. Uh, so you'd cast the double impervious, and there wasn't like no dispel options back then, of course. So you'd have an impervious champion at your opponent's shrine, and then you'd play like Helm of Chaos on it, and then it would get shattered, and you'd, you know, cycle the impervious effects like that. But it uh, seems like Archivist is definitely going for a kill on that Mauler. He's got on six HP. And uh, he does not quite get the kill. Man, if only that interrogator was over there, he could have he could have gotten the uh, the final hit. But uh, the hammer strike not going to be doing much for him. It actually hurts his crusader more than anything because crusader cannot get a battle leader proc, or sorry, thirst for battle proc off of a stun champion. So uh, the interrogator finally making herself herself useful, going for a pummel onto this mauler. Doing a bit of damage with the punish, and uh, the Mauler will uh, not be able to run, thanks to the uh, the aforementioned punish. Ooh, the Fascinate. Ooh, I forgot about that. So Fascinate actually dragging the in Interrogator away from the Mauler. So Mauler is free to uh, free to maul as he pleases. And uh, wh where is he going to maul? Where where will this Mauler maul to? Mm, maybe the Shrine. Maybe Carmivore will prove me wrong and go for the Shrine. But it seems like, yep, Guardian gonna go back at the final hit onto Zedin. I was gonna laugh so hard if there was a righteous deflection on there. <laughs> because that would have been that would have been terrible. So there's actually a mirror, a Grimlick's mirror. Man, this takes me back so hard. Yeah, Ma Grimlick's mirror used to be like Mauler's best friend, because again, sibling used to be a crazy strong ability. It would like it would like reveal like all of your Maulers in deck when you deployed one. And the stat buff was enormous. And you'd cast Grimlick's mirror on them. And then you'd have like five maulers running around with crazy stats, and they they take no magic damage. And uh, oh man, those were the days. And then after that, it was like Grimlix mirrored acid elementals, and then Grimlix mirrored angels of protection. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised Grimlix mirror has survived all the uh, all through the ages without any uh, major changes. I think the last one it got was like a, a cost uh, cost clause where you couldn't target heroes or anything with over 90 Nora. Or I think 90, I think, yeah, I think it was like 99 Nora or something like that. But uh, this Mauler is going to go down. Of course, now that Carmivore has uh, this one in the back, he preserves the, the sibling effect. Uh, Archivist will be getting his font back for the moment. But uh, it seems like this interrogator, again, is very isolated, not able to really go anywhere thanks to Fascinate. And then uh, this Mauler, she's not able to kill this Mauler. Pummel is on cooldown. Uh, I'm pretty sure Elusive Leap is also on cooldown for one turn. I might be wrong about that. The, uh, the Barbarian Elite going to drop... Oh, he's going to run into a Poison Quill Trap, which I didn't even know was there. Because it does come in Shadow Spawned. Uh, I don't think the Auras didn't trigger, did it? Maybe, maybe I should have actually caught that. Yeah, I mean, it's in the combat log. His Spirit Manifestation took some damage. Uh, what did he... When did he play that, I wonder? I've, I've just been rambling, and I must have missed that. 
So the barbarian elite going to run into it and uh, get it uh, get a hit on it. And there is a pride of Sarnhaver along with a war banner. We're going to see the interrogator uh, immune to melee damage for the following turn. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, Karmabor does not have any ranged units to deal with that. So uh, oh yeah, so okay, so elusive leap was up. And uh, uh, I don't know if I agree with using it this turn, just because like you're you've almost certainly got resolute up, right? But uh, resolute prevents uh, damage; it does not prevent attacks. And elusive leap prevents uh, prevents attacks, so you're basically wasting an elusive leap proc because you've got resolute up. Unless he doesn't have resolute up, right? I mean, he could not have put it up, but uh, you know. Uh, you've also got Granite Bracers on there, so I guess that would have done the same thing. So he's got basically two dodges, plus uh, whenever Resolute comes up. There was the, uh, was that the Granite Bracers dodge, or was that the, uh, the Elusive Leap dodge? Mm. Granite, I know Granite Bracers has a combat log trigger, right? Uh, okay, I guess, wow, wait a minute, did, that, did it eat up both? Because Elusive Leap's not here anymore, I guess that was the Elusive Leap uh proc hmm okay so he uh so he elusive leap is gone now basically and resolute i'm, I'm thinking he didn't put up resolute in that case but i guess karmavor we're not going to get a chance to uh to to find out karmavor is not going to make another hit on it of course and there's a snake charmer all the way over here i guess he de yeah he deployed it on the zed and nora globe which uh, which i guess is fine i mean snake charmer just going to summon a snake anyway and uh nothing really nothing is in desperate need of healing at the moment yeah, so uh, Hunter Charm, Hunter's Charm on the Guardian, and uh, Guardian is is uh, pretty beefy now. He's got really good stats uh, with all the uh, the damage buffing going on. And my kingdom for a dispel here. Look at like look look at all this stuff that could be dispelled. Ally, you know, you've got uh, the uh, well. I guess I guess it's really <laughs> yeah. I guess it's really only ally, and uh, everything else is from permanent effects like the uh, the boost. But uh, seems like Archivist has finally dealt with the. Uh, the the, uh, the font situation over here. His champions are going to relocate towards uh, the middle of the map. And I was actually kind of expecting this uh, to be over after all the Nora that uh, was wasted uh, in keeping Karmavor's font contested. And again, I, I know I've said this in previous matches on this map in particular, rushing the font is almost always a bad idea because like you're the the font is in such close proximity to the shrine that reinforcements can get there too soon for the contest to actually do anything. But uh, there's a Morin's Corner from uh, Archivist, and uh, that will give uh, Interrogator a little bit more HP. Oh no, he, did he? Uh, did he? He didn't use it, right? No, he used. Yeah, he used it to heal both. So his Elite and the Interrogator will get uh, a little bit of restoration from the the deliciousness of uh, the revitalizing flavors. Mm -mm -mm. So we've actually, you could make, uh, you could kind of make like a food. Like if you were really crazy, you could make an ISSP cooking deck like Moga Chef and Morin's Corner and Dublin Surprise Pies. And uh, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's other crazy stuff you could put in there, right? Like the or oh yeah, the 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 fesh with devourable. <laughs> that would be a, that would be a stupid idea for a split. I might actually make that later. Um but anyway, we've got uh, so we've got the a little bit of healing going down and then of course another spirit manifestation. Uh spirit man spirit of the mountain is such a pain in the ass to deal with. Like, it used to be even worse because it was permanently ghosted, but now it just has Ethereal. And uh, Guardian of uh, Veritat, meanwhile, uh, now up to uh, 22 damage from all of these buffs. Look at all these crazy buffs. And uh, that, that's just the power of beasts, man. They got they got buffs out the ass, and Kathir Forest as a faction kind of has buffs out the ass, too. They've got boost, they've got the uh, the fanfare that gives ally. they got uh, other random stuff like... Uh, Elven uh, strategist with battle master and stuff. But it seems like Karmavor is uh, not going to waste any more time. He's going to head in here with his maulers, get some execute hits off with these uh, these ridiculous nine speed <laughs> 64 Nora maulers. So down goes the elite, and I guess he didn't, or I guess Archivist did not press Resolute on that turn, not expecting that much damage. And there's the game for Karmavor. So uh, well played to both, and we'll see everyone in the next one.